It is 11 o'clock here in Washington, D.C., wherever you are in the world. I want to welcome you to today's workout. Today's workout is a focus workout. It's called a focus workout because we're going to focus on three different things today. Pico number one is going to be the upper body. So we're going to focus on upper body drills. Pico number two is going to be the oblique sequence. So we're going to focus on those muscles of the core right here on the side. And sequence number three is the striation workout. So this one is going to be a little bit more of a cardio uh, workout. I hope you're ready for today's workout. Let's begin. We're going to start with a forward lunge twist and back. Here we go. Alternating sides and back. Nice. Go for it. Beautiful. And back. Nice. Now we're going to do the obliques or the wipers right here just to get that good stretch right here because we're going to use those muscles today. Open them up. Hold it there a couple of seconds. Good. Arms up. Nice. And one more time. Beautiful. Good. All right. Let's open up the trunk. We're going to start really getting those muscles also in the first sequence. Good. And back. Perfect. Nice. Let's do that again. Beautiful. One more time. Back. And boom. Perfect. All right. Let's bring those high knees. Let's get that heart rate going. Here we go. Good. Or you could do it this way, just like that. Go for it. Nice. Give me five, four, three, two, one. And then some ice skaters. Or you could do them this way, just like that. You choose whatever works for you. Let's go. Nice. Today's workout is called the Focus Workout because we're going to focus. We're going to really laser focus on three different things today. Let's go. Good. Two more. One. Two, and we are ready for today's workout. The first sequence is going to be the upper body sequence. The first drill that we're going to do is a push-up, ISO push-up with the leg up. So let me show you. You're going to go into a push-up position. You're going to go down, and then you're going to lift the right leg up. You can also do it with your left knee on the floor just like that. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. So like I said, we're going to focus on the upper body on this one. And it starts with an ISO push-up. Good. Let me see what's going on. Beautiful. Nice. Go as low as you're comfortable. The lower you go, the more muscle fiber you're going to get activated. And stay in that position while your right leg is up in the air. So we get some glute activation at the same time. You have 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Again, modification right here. Nice. Three, two, one, and you got it. Perfect. All right. So now what we're going to do is a two-position push-up. So we're going to do one push-up, wide grip, one push-up, close grip, back and forth. Now, when I say wide grip, you don't want to go all the way, a little wider than the close grip. Close grip is a little close, and then wide grip is a little kind of like your know, shoulder width. You can also do them on your knees. Are you ready? Three. Two, one, go for it. So one of each, bam. Just a couple inches from one another. Let's go, beautiful. Keep it going, keep it going. Beautiful. All the way down. You got it. Let's go. We have 15 seconds left, 15 seconds left. Good. Let's go. Five seconds. In three, two, one. And there it is. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to do our Superman. So we're going to lay down on the floor, on the stomach. We're going to face down. We're going to lift those legs up, arms up. And we're just going to bring those arms forward and back, just like that. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Go for it. Good. Up. Let's go. Nice. Keep it going. Keep it going. Beautiful. Good. We have 10 seconds left. Five 
five seconds. Three, two, one, and there it is. Nice. All right. Now we're going to turn around and we're going to do our dips. So we're in this position right here and we're going to do the dips all the way down. Touch your, your glutes on the floor and then bring it up to really activate the triceps. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. And down. Good. And up. Beautiful. Really get those triceps. Really get those triceps. Nice. Let's go. Make sure those fingers are facing forward. You don't want them to face back or to the side. They're forwards. And that's going to keep your... And don't go too far like this. That's going to put too much pressure on the shoulder. Bring it down, back and do your tricep dips. We got three seconds. Two, one, and there it is. Perfect. Nice. All right. Shake those arms because we are back again on this first sequence. We're going to go back into the ISO push-ups, this time with the left leg up in the air, or you can have the right knee on the floor. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Go for it. No movement. No movement. We're going to stay right there. Body as parallel to the floor as possible, as low as you can. And stay right there with that left leg up in the air. Again, you can have the right knee on the floor. Let's go. Keep it going. Nice. Try to stay as low as you can. As low as you can on that push-up position. Good. We have 10 seconds left. Beautiful. Give me five seconds. In three, two, one, and time. Good. All right. Now we're going to do our two position push up, wide grip, close grip, one of each. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. One push up, close grip, another push up, wide grip, down, close grip, down. Good. Nice and easy on each push up. You want to protect those joints. Beautiful. Keep it going. We have 15 seconds left. We're going to follow this one with the Superman. 10 seconds. Five seconds. In three, two, one. And there it is. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to turn around on our stomach. Lift those legs up. And then we're going to do our Superman. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Good. Make sure you face down. Don't look up because that's going to put too much pressure on your neck. Nice and easy. Good. Beautiful. And this is a great drill for shoulder mobility, shoulder. It really opens up those muscles. Let's go. We have five seconds left. And then we're going to follow up with the tricep dips. Three. Two, one, and time. Good. All right. We're going to turn around, and we're going to go back to the tricep dips right here. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Good. Good. And up. Nice. Beautiful. Keep it going. Good. Let's go. Let's go again. Fingers facing forward, not to the side, not on the back. You want them to face forward. Good. We have five seconds left. Five seconds left. In three, two, one, and there it is. Perfect. Nice. All right. Get your water. We are done with the upper body. We're now going to the obliques. You know, most of the time we focus on the core, but this time I want to be so focused. I want to just focus on the side over here. This one is going to pinch you a little bit. So the first one that we're going to do, a general one, just to get kind of that core opened up. We're going to do the scissors. You're going to lay down. You're going to have the shoulders above the ground, and you're going to do the scissors right here, over, under, okay? Now, uh, modified, you could do one leg at a time, just like that, or have your shoulders down on the floor. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go for it. 
Now, if it puts too much pressure on the back, lift the legs up a little higher. That's going to push a small your back against the floor. And you're going to get a little bit more core versus less back. Let's go. Keep it going. Beautiful. Nice. Over, unders. Try to keep those shoulders above the ground so you really get more core activation. You have five seconds left. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and time. Good. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit more uh, oblique. So we're going to go on the left side at the bottom, right side on top. And I'm just going to do my side planks up, down. So you go down as soon as you touch the floor, you go back up, hold it there for a couple of seconds, back and forth. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go for it. And up. Beautiful. Now we're getting those obliques activated. Let's go. Keep it going. Let me see. Good. Focus on those muscles. These are the muscles that you really want to uh, that you really want to engage, that you really want to feel. So really think about it. Nice. We have 10 seconds left. Keep the body straight. And you just go up and down. Three seconds. Two. One. And time. Good. We're not done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stay in that side plank position. Now my right elbow is going to touch, make contact with my right knee. Just like that. Now modification, you could just do it on your knee. Left knee on the floor and make that contact, all right? Are you ready? Three, two, one, go for it. This one has the added benefit, not only we're working on the left side, but we're also engaging a little bit of the right. Let's go, keep it going. Beautiful, make that contact. Bring that knee to the elbow. We have 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left, again, right here, and back, right here, and back. I'm showing the modification with the knee on the floor. Five seconds, three, two, one, and time, good. All right, the last piece in that sequence is gonna be our twist. So I'm gonna stay in that up position again, and this time I'm gonna bring my arm in and back, just like that, okay? I'm gonna reach as far inside as I can. Modification, your knees on the floor, bring it back up, and down. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. And down. Good. Beautiful. Keep it going. Keep it going. You got it. We have 15 seconds left. Nice. Go as deep as you can. Imagine mm. you're trying to reach for something that's Really hard to get. You got it. You got five seconds left. Three, two, one, and time. Nice. All right. So that was one side. We still have the other side to do. But first, we're going to go back to the, uh, the over-unders, the scissors right here with the shoulders above the ground. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Good, just like that. Keep a little higher if you feel too much pressure on your back and have the shoulder. You could also have the hands behind your head if it puts too much pressure on the, on the neck. Let's go, good. But the whole time I want you to focus on the core. Good. Let's go. We have five seconds left. Five seconds left. Focus on that. That core. Three, two, one, and time. All right. Now we're going to go a little bit more specific on the obliques. Right side now, we're just going to do our ups and down. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go for it. You really want to feel those obliques tighten up. You touch those obliques, you feel that they're hardening as you go up. Good. And up. Perfect. Let's go. Keep it going. Nice. Nice and easy. This should be a controlled movement. This is not a speed movement. You don't go up and down, up and down as quickly as you can. You're taking your time. You go up nice and easy and back down nice and easy. 
You only have five seconds left. In three, two, one, and time. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to do the knee to the elbow. Still in that side plank position right here, either uh, with the foot down on the floor or with the right knee on the floor. Ready? Three, two, one, go. In. Make that contact. Bring it out. In. Make that contact. Or right here and back. And in. Good. Let's go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Beautiful. We have five seconds left. We're going to follow this one with a twist. In three, two, one, and there it is. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to do the twist. Side plank in and back up. As far in and back up, or you could do it on the knees as well. Ready? Three, two, one. One, go. Showing you the modification. Up, down, up, down, or right here, in and back. So we're not going quick like this. We're really doing a twist. Okay? It's not just the arm going through that does nothing. It's the whole body moving. Whole body twisting. Good. Let's go. We have 10 seconds left. Go for it. Five seconds. In three, two, one. And we're done with this one. Perfect. All right. Get your water. We are done with the sequence. We're now moving to the striation sequence. What is the striation sequence? It is meant to really bring those muscles to the surface so you could see the nice definition of the muscles. So this one is going to be a little bit more cardio oriented. All right. What we're going to do first. We're going to do our front backs. Front backs look like this. Front back, like almost like a boxer doing the jump rope motion. Modification, just go as quickly as you can with this motion. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go for it. I like to jump rope with it, just to mimic that move. So it's a coordination. But the rope will never get cut. So that's a good thing. Good. Bam, bam. Let's go. Keep it going. Front back, front back. Good. Beautiful. Come on. Bam. Give me some Muhammad Ali movements over here. We have five seconds left. Five seconds left. In three, two, one, and time. All right. As long as we're on the boxing theme, what we're going to do is our speed back right here. Squat position, and we're going to add a little hop to the side. Or you could just cross, cross, but you're always in that semi-squat position. All right? Are you ready? Three, two, one, go for it. So down, up, up. The whole goal is really to bring the heart rate up. That's why I'm involving the upper body. That's why I'm involving the lower body at the same time. So we're getting a lot of muscles moving. Keep it going. Good. Modification, cross, 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 just like that. As we get those arms, they're about at the height of the face, not too high, not too low. Nice, keep it going. Five seconds. In three, two, one, and time. Good, let's go on the floor. We're going to do our leg throughs. Remember those? Leg throughs, so these are the leg throughs. Leg through, and then leg through, and then leg through. Or you could just do them one at a time, modified. Are you ready? Three, two. One, go. And back, just like that. Also gets a lot of core, but mostly gets your cardio going. So you want to be careful. You want to protect your shoulders. You want to protect your joints, but you want to go as quickly as you're comfortable. Now, so you got 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left. There's a lot of muscles involved, and that's why your heart rate is elevated. You got your upper body. You got your legs, you got your core. Let's go. Three seconds. Two, one, and time. Got it. All right. The last one in the sequence is going to be the knees to the chest. Let me show you. You're right here, knee to the chest and back, knee to the chest and back, just like that. Just this movement, or you could do it one at a time. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. 
So both legs together, close together. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's go. Nice. And up in a continuous motion. Continuous motion. Beautiful. We have 15 seconds left. Let me see what's going on. You got, you're doing great. Let's go. Go a little quicker if you can. As soon as you land, you're back again. Three seconds. Two. One. And time. Nice. Got it. Perfect. Catch your breath. All right. We're going to do those four drills one more time. The first one is going to be our front backs, the jump rope coordination drill. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Here we go again. Modification, front, back, one leg at a time, just like that. Or double. Tap, 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 tap. Good. You're tapping, and you could increase the speed, power as quickly as you could take it. Nice. Keep it going. Let's go. Nice. Something like a butterfly and sing like a bee. Let's go. We have five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Good. All right. Speed bag, hop to the side, just like this. Or cross, cross. Ready? Three, two, one. Your turn. Go. Nice. Again, you're in that semi squat position. This is the position I stay in. Right here. Right here. Right here. Good. Keep it going. Nice. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. You got it. Speed back. Speed back. Bam. 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 Nice. We have 10 seconds left. We're going to follow this one with the leg throughs. Leg throughs. Let's go. Five, three, two, one, and boom. Perfect. Nice. On the floor. Let's hit the deck. Leg throughs again. Right here. Put the leg through in slow motion. I'm showing you. And then you add the speed. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Go for it. Let me show you the modification. Right here. Right here. Good. Bam. 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 Nice. Keep it going. Keep it going. Good. We have 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left. Nice. Really engage all those muscles. Go for it. Good. Five seconds. Knees to the chest are next. So we stay on the floor. Three, two, one, and time. All right. Knees to the chest from the plank position. Knees to the chest with the legs together. They're not separated. They're together or one at a time. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Modified. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. Let's go. So many different muscles involved in this one. You got it. You got it. Go for it. Go for it. Non-stop. You land, you go. You land, you go. There's no coffee break in between the movement. Let's go. We got 10 seconds left. There we go. Much better. Five seconds. In three, two, one. And there it is. Beautiful. Nice. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to do our three mandatory stretches. First stretch I want to do is a quad stretch. Grab your leg. Try to get your balance, or you could hold on the wall or something, and then lean forward. Nice. Right there. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Grab the foot. And then we're going to go forwards. Nice. Beautiful. Next thing I want to do is a triceps. Bring it back so we get those triceps from all those push-ups and arm stuff. Nice. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Oh, that feels good. Nice. And the last one is going to be a forearm stretch. So my hand is, my arm is loose. I'm going to put my hand on the right fingers and I'm just going to pull them back until I feel those, 
the forearm stretch. That's good, especially if we're on a keyboard all day and texting all day. Good, let's do the same thing on the other side. So again, you keep that hand loose and you bring it back. So you feel that stretch. Beautiful. Nice. All right, so today's workout was called the focused workout because I want to really focus on three different things. The first thing I want to focus on are the upper body muscles. That's what we focused on. Sequence number two, we focused on the obliques, not the core, the obliques. And sequence number three, we did a little bit more striation development. So through some cardiovascular drills, I hope.